Hello, my friends. I am determined to use up the paint leftovers I have from the swipe I did. I'll show it to you. Put it like this. And I'm really pleased with the way it came out. Love these little cells and the variety here and the lovely lacing in the sandy area. Very, very happy. I mean, look how pretty this, the sides are. It's just a sweet little piece, but I have leftover paint. So I don't want to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to try a Chaos Dutch Pour. I haven't tried one of those yet. I don't know why. I do a lot of Dutch Pours, but I just haven't used that particular method yet. And I think you just kind of scribble the paint all over in one area and blow it up. So um, that's what I'm doing. Let me lay down this white. And this is not my typical Dutch pour recipe. I'm using Artist Loft Ready Mix paints. I've done some Dutch pours with them before, but I don't think it was this mix. I think I just used Floetrol. I have a big playlist. I love to experiment with those paints. You may want to check that out. Let's see. Um, so this is a first, first with the, um, swipe recipe I use with these paints, which is glue and Floetrol, no water. So I hope it's not too thin if it is, or thick rather, if it is, um, I'll have to come up with another idea, but. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna tilt that around. Get nice smooth coverage and also on the sides. Bring it down this way a little bit. There's something, a chunk of something, let's see. that. Okay, now for the blues. There we go. Just kind of haphazard. I hope I have enough. Use it all up. I'm pretty skimpy. I don't, uh, I'm gonna have to paint the sides, no doubt. But I can do that. Wow. Pretty skimpy. I think I'll scrape up some of that white from the tilting and add it to here as well. I'll add that last. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Palette knife, here we go. Fill in some of these gaps. <laughs> this is chaos because I don't know what, what I'm doing. But sometimes that's the most fun. You know, I, I like 
really like to go into this type of thing with a plan, but you have to be flexible. I don't know how important it is to fill every spot. I'll find out. <laughs> you know what I'm even going to throw, I have a tiny bit left of white with silicone. I'm going to even add that in there. Why not? Get a few cells. I need a bigger palette knife. I'm mean, a half ton of palette knives, but this is the one that's always standing by. Okay, that's that. And I have some phthalo blue left. Nice contrast. Okay, and last but not least, this has a little silicone in it. Could be fun. I'll just do this with it. Okay, now I don't know if my little hair dryer is um, strong enough to move this paint, but we'll give it a try. Start on low, but I'm Ooh, this does. But I've got to get some up here. So let's see. I don't know if I should start the bottom or the, or the top. if I can. I'm going to turn it up high. Now I've got to get a little more up in this area here. with this. I think that's kind of pretty in there. I'll probably embellish this in some way, add something up there. Just a tiny little blue butterflies or something simple. Yeah. That's kind of pretty. Good way to use up the paint. I like that, the dark there. Any left. No, I'm not gonna mess with it. I think I'll leave well enough alone. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Let me bring it to look closer at. It. 
Maybe the white with the bit of silicone in it made those wonderful little cells kind of different. And that area at the bottom, uh, I went over there twice with the two or three times with the hairdryer and it was just too much and on high as well. So I don't know, a little wispies up there, but that's a lot of negative space. I may have to do something, but I finally used up that paint and that makes me happy. Okay, my friends, thank you for joining me. See you next time.